얘기하긴 하는데 그 오이 얘기하는 게 아니고 그 이거를 하면서 잘 What's up, YouTube? Just arrived in Catalina. Got Sydney here. We're gonna hike the Trans Catalina Trail. Pretty stoked. It's Sunday, 7th of April. 14 days until we start hiking the CDT. Figure we get some miles in here on Catalina Island. Stay tuned. Well, we're walking out of Avalon now, heading towards the trailhead of the Trans Catalina Trail. It's about a mile to the trailhead. Looking forward to it. Making up some breakfast on the move. A uh, breakfast essential, two packets of oatmeal. Ready to get the day going. Oh yeah, bon appetit. We're about to hike the Twans Catalina Twans Trail. Catalina Three miles in, so far so good. It's beautiful. Definitely gonna need to apply sunscreen to my legs often. I think I'm already burning. Yeah, gonna reapply some. Oh yeah, baby, straight off the banana boat. Sydney's out down there getting some too, applying the lotion, dancing. There's the mainland. Out there. But yeah. The sun is definitely uh, going to be an issue out here. It's an extremely exposed trail. Um, but it's just kind of prepping us for the desert section of the CDT. It'll be interesting. You know, I've hiked in the desert and very exposed areas. But I don't really have a base on my skin right now. You know, no, no base tan. And I am pretty fair skinned as it is. So. Just got to develop that base. Apply sunscreen liberally and try not to cook out here. Shred the gnar. It's the first time I could see ocean on both sides of the island. I imagine this is a normal occurrence, but pretty neat. It's to the east, to the west. Oh, yeah. Made it up to the top of that first climb a little while ago, maybe about four miles or so into the hike. On a uh, dirt it's, uh, two track now. Very beautiful out here. Blessed. The Twans Catalina Twelve. We are on the Twans Catalina Twelve. The birds are chirping, the sky is blue. The grass is green. It's a beautiful day. The Twans Catalina Twelve. All right, getting off the two track, back onto the single track.
Sydney is officially in bison country. Hopefully we see some bison out here. Apparently back in the day, they brought some bison out here for Hollywood films and whatnot and never got rid of them and they began to populate and reproduce on the island. So yeah, we are entering bison country. Here's the famous fence for those that are interested in hiking the trail. Um, I'm sure you've seen it in other videos. We're out here, about to be in bison country. Blessed, blessed to be on the Trans Catalina Trail. What's up, YouTubes? We're about uh, six miles into our day, a little less. We're here at some park right off the side of the trail. There's a water spigot here where we grab some water. I'm enjoying some coffee. It is currently 10, 11 in the morning. Um, so yeah, six miles in. Next water source is another five miles ahead. So far, the Trans Catalina Trail is awesome. It's beautiful out here, uh, pretty mellow. The climb out of Avalon was a little steep, but not bad at all. Um, yeah, just really enjoying ourselves. Beautiful day. I will say the trail is pretty exposed, you know, very limited shade. So getting to a spot like this where there's some shade, definitely appreciating it. Taking a quick 10, 15 minute break here. Going to finish up some coffee and move on down the trail. And there's Sydney. There she goes. She's gonna go down the Trans Catalina Trail. Yeah! Right past the right past the Woo! playground. Exciting day. Yeah! My stuff's kind of moving around. Tight, tighten up the hip belt. Beautiful. A wild Sydney. Oh yeah. About nine miles in. Trans Catalina Trail. Very nice. Pretty neat bench here, right on the edge of the water, but it's made of old trail signs. Neato. Happy trails. Happy trails. Nice little shade spot. Wonderful. He's taking all the individual sauce packets. Stocking up. A wild through liker takes all the sauce packets. Oh yeah.
No. Are you filming? <laughs> Just had an awesome lunch at the airport in the sky at mile 13 on the Trans Catalina Trail with my partner in crime, Sydney. Having a great hike. <laughs> We're hiking back out. We got six more miles to go towards Little Harbor. And there's an airplane taking off right now. There it goes. Wow, it's flying. Oh my God, that's so cool. So yeah, 13 miles in. Six more to go to camp. Uh, kind of a long day today. Tomorrow should be a short day. Only like six miles is what we do because you gotta reserve campsites. So, yeah, shred the gnar. We're out here. We out here. Catalina Island, baby. Catalina the wine Catalina mixer. wine mixer, yeah. Woo! Boats and hose. <laughs> What's that? Trans Catalina Trail. Uh, uh. <laughs> Do something cool on filming. Nice, that's pretty sick. Hi. Hi. Wow. Beautiful. Hiking into camp for the night. Gonna be around 20 mile day. It's a big one. Big old day. Big old ocean. Yep. Yeah. yeah! The Trans Catalina Trail. We are at Little Harbor on the Trans Catalina Trail. Little Harbor, what Trans Catalina Trail. Shark Harbor, oh, Shark Harbor, Trans Catalina Trail. 
20.69 miles for day one. Tomorrow, we're probably only doing six miles. It'll be an easy day, hopefully. But yeah, that's just where we reserve campsites. Everything else was booked. But we showed up here and not every campsite was full, so it's kind of strange. I got my girl cooking up the crack rocks in the kitchen, baby. Yeah, cook it up. There it goes. The sun is setting. First night on the Trans Catalina Trail. Solid day. No complaints at all. 20 miles. 20.69 20 miles. Happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. Sydney's making some poor man's pad thai. She's got some peanut butter, Justin's, along with some Cholula that she took from the Sky High Airport, right? Yes. Nice. And I got some cold soaking noodles, <laughs> chicken flavor. <laughs> God bless America. God bless Catalina Island. God bless this day. That's what I'm waking up to. It's a beautiful day. Good morning. Good morning. All right, late start this morning, intentionally, but I'm gonna go take a poop in the toilet up here and get the day going. It is almost 10 a.m. So yeah, we're in no rush. We only have six miles to do to two harbors where we'll be staying tonight. And then tomorrow we'll do a 14 mile day to wrap up the Trans Catalina Trail. Feeling pretty good this morning. A little stiff, but loosening up a bit. But yeah, just gonna go take myself a big dumpy in the toilet over here. But here's to another beautiful day on the Trans Catalina Trail. There she goes. Water. Little Harbor, Shark Harbor over there. That's where we camped last night. Very beautiful. Got a climb this morning. It's 1200 feet in about three miles. Stoked. Shred the gnar. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome climb this morning. Loving it. Beautiful 360 views. It's the Catalina wine mixer, baby. Shred the gnar. Oh, that's where we're headed. It doesn't look as steep on the lens. Maybe it does. But yeah, right up the ridge. Not many switchbacks on this trail, but I like it. I like the good pushes of climbs that are on this trail. It's fun. There she goes. Oh yeah, quite the climb coming up. Awesome. 
Yeah. Getting there. Oh yeah. Just about to the top. Woo! Just gotta go a little oh inland here and I think that's the top of the climb for the day. Beautiful. Wonderful 360 views. Beautiful woman. Nice. Ooh, there it goes. It's a bald eagle. God bless America. Getting down into two harbors. That'll be it for our day today. It's only 1.30, so we'll have plenty of time to hang out in town. There's a couple of restaurants, and that's where we catch the ferry out of here, but we're going to do the 14-mile loop on the other side of the island over there and get back to Two Harbors tomorrow. But, yeah, we'll be in Two Higher Harbors tonight, so shred the gnar, bro. We finally spotted the great buffalo. I was wondering if we were going to see one or not on the trail. Stoked. You. Awesome. Look at him just trotting along. Oh, he stopped. He's stopping on purpose. He knows we're recording. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. I'm a buffalo. Guy on a buffalo. Should I go ride it? Oh, yeah. Twin Harbors. Burger party. Burger party. Two Harbors Campground. We're camping down there somewhere. We're going to Two Harbors. Yeah. Campground. We've already been to the town. Hey, Mr. Fox. And your little fox brother. Babe, there's a fox. <whistles> Babe. Yeah. All right. It's 624 in the morning. April 9th. Leaving Two Harbors Campground now. Gonna be finishing up the 15 or so or 14 miles around the rest of the island to complete the Trans Catalina Trail. Gotta catch a ferry into San Pedro. 
at around 4 p.m. I think it departs at 4.45. So, just gotta knock these miles out. And we're about to catch the sunrise. It's a beautiful day. Pretty nice camp spot last night at Two Harbors Campground. There's some friendly folks around us. Uh, saw another bald eagle, so that makes it three bald eagles for the trip. One bison, lots of fox. There was a lot of foxes at the Two Harbors Campground last night, actually. In the middle of the night, I heard a couple of them fighting each other over some scraps and look out of my tent, turn my headlamp on, see about five different sets of eyes shining and there was a whole lot of fox out there. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, beautiful morning. Uh, the foxes didn't get into any of our stuff, but I think they might have gotten into someone's stuff because they were having a good time running around camp last night. Shred the gnar. Yep, getting out of two harbors. There's this neat little basketball hoop in the field. So I play some dirt ball. Pretty sweet. All right, beginning the climb out of two harbors. It's about 1,700 feet and 2.6 miles. Great way to start the day. Looking forward to it. Shred the gnar, bro. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This is incredible. Just 360 views. Unbelievable. You can pretty much see the ocean all around us. Damn near. Sick. Last day. Getting close to the top of this climb. Actually, I think it's right, right up here, really. This is a crazy, oh, it's a clip, but still. Damn. God damn. This might be the tallest peak on the Catalina Island. I'm not sure. 
have to look it up. Oh yeah, survey marker. It's a Roz station. Some other stuff. Something uh, transmitting electromagnetic frequencies into LA. Maybe some sort of direct energy weapon. Who knows? Nice. Yeah, I don't think this is the tallest peak. I think the tallest peak is somewhere over there. Mount Orizaba. Maybe that one. some research. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite part of the Trans Catalina Trail? Yeah. Dun dun dun. It's amazing how steep these roads are. It's like they just punch a dozer line up these hills and call it a road. Beautiful. Steep descent back down into two harbors. Already done with the climb, it was awesome. But I think we got about 10 more miles or so. Super steep descent. Pretty gnarly. It's kind of hard to capture, but it's very steep. Steep. Parsons Landing. Oh yeah. I guess you can pay to have water delivered here for you. Nice. About halfway through the day, a little less. It's 10 a.m. Maybe we'll get 12 by 12, we'll see. Boy Scout camp. There's beds there. Wonder. Don't want to think of all the diddling that went on here. Creepy. Rusty beds. Now the actual Boy Scout camp, or the more modern one, that has canvas tents and not just the skeletons with the rusty twin mattresses. The land of the diddle. Nice. Well, on to the last mile or so, and back into two harbors, probably about less than a mile, maybe. Right, just gotta go down this hill, back into the town there. 
Here's Sydney. Yeah, Trans Catalina Trail. It was great. Good adventure. Uh, what, 40 miles? About three days. I'd recommend it. I'd honestly stretch it out to four days if you have the time and you can reserve the campsites. But I enjoyed it. Got to push ourselves a bit, test our gear out for the CDT. So, yeah, gonna get back down into two harbors and catch the ferry home. Well, that's that. I'm on the Catalina Express now, heading to San Pedro. It's a good trip. Woohoo! We got the whole front of the boat to ourselves. <laughs> Some pirates. There's pirates over there. Trans Catalina Trail. Complete.